Dear Lord, are Chelsea title contenders? You bet we are. We've got all the ingredients to cook up the perfect dish. Now you may be asking, well, do you have the right chef? You got them bet we do. Our chef has eaten this dish several times and now he gets to cook it up himself. Hey guys, welcome back to the other side of the coin. International break, whoop to do it's here again and it's making our lives boring all over again. But that's why we're here. We're here to talk about some interesting stuff. And today I want to talk about two things. One, are we really, you know, in the mix of being title contenders? And two, the whole Kurt Zuma contract extension news and I want to provide my opinion on it. But before we get into all of that, guys, I want to take this opportunity to ask all you guys, Please smash that like button. If you're here already, and I know you're here all the time watching my video, please smash that like button. Helps out the channel a lot, helps me out a lot. So that'll go a long way. Hit that like button right now. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. So guys, let's get straight into this. First of all, are we title contenders? That's the, you know, the theme. That's the, uh, the question that's happening all around social media at the moment. And I feel... There's some legitimacy in this particular question. Now, I, I want to talk about this. Look, firstly, overall thoughts on are we title contenders? It's a bit premature to talk about that. Only eight games into it, I believe, eight or nine. I think it's eight. But I want to talk about four things that kind of indicate that we are in the mix of this title contendership. And obviously, one sort of negative that I want to touch on. Um, so first of all, you know, if you look at the previous winners in the past, like in recent times, your know, Liverpool's, Man City's, Chelsea's, obviously, and Leicester, the foundation of a, a title winning side starts from great defence. Now you look at us, do we check that box? I think we have started to see progression in our defence. And when you look at our keeper and the back four and, and the people that are behind the back four in terms of depth, we, we are quite set here. Mendy is probably one of the best keepers in the league right now. He takes pride in being a goalkeeper. He takes pride in taking, uh, getting clean sheets. He, he's, he's so determined to save every shot. So we've got a go great goalkeeper. We've already seen the clean sheet run. I know it ended against Sheffield United, but look, since that goal in that particular match, there was nothing that was going past him. I mean, Sheffield didn't create much anyway, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, Mendy has been strong. You look at the back four, Reese James defensively has been improved immensely. Yeah, the strength, the, the immense energy that he carries. Thiago Silva and Kurt Zuma, probably, probably one of the best centre-back uh, pairing at the moment in the Premier League, probably in Europe, I'd say. Thiago Silva, with that wealth of experience and that guidance that he's providing in that whole defence, is invaluable at the moment. We can already see in every match the way he defends so calm, so much in cruise control. Every match he's in cruise control, this particular player, nonchalantly just defending away. And it's it's starting to you know take effect on um, Zuma, who's picking this up. And we'll get on to his contract extension, which comes in nicely in this whole mi uh, midst of things. But yeah, his partnership with Thiago Silva, Zuma was already quite strong, but now he's learning the, those finer details about Zuma's game and ho oh, sorry about Thiago Silva's game. And hopefully, he keeps learning uh, about how Thiago, you know, is is a leader in the back and how he sort of protects that back. So hopefully, Zuma continues that way. And Ben Chilwell, guys, Ben Chilwell. I mean, seriously. Shame on me for doubting this particular player. I was going for Ray Elon, but I'm so glad Frank and Ashley Cole went with uh, Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell is honestly a total, total upgrade over Alonso and Emerson. Probably one of the best left backs in Premier League at the moment. Going forward, dynamic, defending strong, aerially. This is one thing I never expected about Ben Chilwell being... Not a tallish player, actually, uh, you know, quite average height, but he's so good in the air. You know, aerial jewels, he never misses out. And his recovery pace, his positioning, his awareness is very good. So that's number one factor of, of uh, you know, title winning side that defensively you've got to be strong. Two, style. We've seen over the last few matches, uh, especially the winning streak that we're going through right now, the style developing in the 4-3-3. The constant changes up front with players shifting and swapping, which I touched on in my last video. Please check that out. Where, you know, Ziyech might be in the right wing, but he's always dropping deep. Kai Havetz is dropping deep, helping out in uh, in the build-up. Mason Mount is swapping flanks sometimes with Kovacic when he's playing. The, the wingers are swapping flanks as well. 
fullbacks are bombing up, creating an overload up front. Uh, strikers dropping deep. There's a lot of stuff happening. The style, we can see what Frank's trying to do. So over the last four games with the lone DM, the attacking edge, it's really coming along nicely. And I can see what Frank's doing. So the style's happening. And the players are believing in this style. If you notice in previous winning teams uh, that we've seen in the Premier League, style is very important. And the players believing in the manager's project and the style is equally important as well for a successful team. So defense, style. Now I want to talk about camaraderie. Now, you can see the team, how much they love being together. Reese James, all of these players, uh, Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech in Instagram, yeah, they, they're all coming out in social media and saying how much they love being part of this particular league team. And you know, they thoroughly enjoy playing under Frank Lampard and they've, they've got this immense aspiration to do well. And you know they're backing their teammates as well, like Mendy, whenever he keeps a clean sheet, everyone, Hakim Ziyech, Rhys James, everyone is talking about it in social media and congratulating Mendy about it. And, and you can see it in uh, on the field as well, how tight-knit they are. So this is very important in a winning team. Fourth one, which is the depth and the talent that we have. We've got some of the most talented players in this league, probably in Europe. You've got Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, probably a generational talent. Hakim Ziyech, I think, is the most creative player right now in the Premier League. Uh, then you've got Kante as the holding midfielder, probably one of the best you know, defensive midfielders out there at the moment. Our back line, as I've already said, how strong they are. And the depth in terms of Tammy Abraham, Giroud, Kalamata and Nadoi. You know, we've still got Pulisic to come, so plenty of depth. You know, Kovacic, Jorginho in midfield. So a lot of depth, so this is very important. So these, these all of these factors, if you look back in previous, previous winners, defense, uh, style, camaraderie, and depth and talent, all important. The one thing I would say that is against that is, you can say Frank Lampard, he's new to this. But then I would say, Frank has won the Premier League many times, not just Premier League, he's won the Champions League, he's won several other cups as well. So it's not like he's foreign to it. Yes, this time he's a manager, but he would know how to win a particular cup. As a player and a manager, I know it's different, but he would know the fundamentals of it, of what it takes to win. You know, he would know the perseverance required. He would know exactly what is required to get this job done. So I'm not worried about that. He's got the ingredients now, now he just needs to cook up the perfect dish. So I personally think, you know, we'll get to know more about this. Probably Newcastle game, it's a must win. The Tottenham game, if we win that after the Newcastle, I think we are definitely in shout for a title contendership. But I know it's still early days, but, you know, fingers crossed, guys, that this 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 looks like a team that can you know do some damage this season. This season, other teams are, you know, it's not like they're running away. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys, about this. Are we title contenders? Do you believe we have the team, the camaraderie, the style, the defense? All the things I've talked about, comment below and let me know. Now I want to talk about Kurt Zuma, guys. Chelsea news. Now, uh, Fabrizio Romano, the, the transfer guru, has come out in his podcast talking about that. You know, Chelsea are quite impressed with what Zuma has been showing. And it, obviously last season against all the centre-backs that we had, Zuma stood out completely. Now, look, you can look at it in two ways. One, you can say, yes, he stood out. The other one, you can say, well, his competition weren't that great. Even Tomori, as good the hype that he gets, he's still learning. He ain't the greatest yet. So, but nonetheless, he was definitely out and out the best uh, defender for us. His power, his aerial ability, his just intensity, the beast that he is, uh, is incredible. This season, obviously, he's got the partner of, uh, you know, with Thiago Silva. So I'm, I'm very, very glad that Chelsea is looking forward and trying to, you know, secure him and, and make him the standout defender where we can build a team around him in the back where he can perhaps, once Thiago Silva leaves, hopefully Thiago stays for another season next season. And after that, you know, Zuma will have that wealth of experience, hopefully by then, and, and can lead out a particular defensive line and he can step up and be the leader. But as I said, there's a lot of work still to be done. I think Zuma still has a lot to learn. Every now and then, now I'm seeing this season where he has that lapse of concentration. Luckily, he's got Thiago Silva to sort of protect him. He's got Mendy, Rich James and everyone. So that back line sort of helping him out. But he needs to cut, cut out those uh, little bits and pieces. He needs to get a bit better with his ball playing abilities as well. You should see what Thiago does with, with his ball playing abilities. I uh, sometimes feel Zuma is a bit scared to progress the ball. He goes side to side. So he needs to just get better with that. And as I said, defensive leadership quality. Leadership quality is very important and it happens over time. So this is the perfect time for him to learn under Thiago Silva and make this happen. So guys, look, overall, I'm happy Chelsea's thinking about this. It's the perfect 
um, case scenario for us, perfect candidate, perfect profile to build a defensive team, a defensive sort of uh, unit down the track. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this. Kurt Zuma, do you believe he should be given the opportunity to, to you know, be that defensive leader for us down the track and get this contract extension? Or do you think you know, it's time for him to go with, you know, he was rumored to leave in the last transfer window. Luckily, we didn't sell him. So guys, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm excited about us being the contenders. I'm excited about Kurt Zuma getting an extension, hopefully down the track. He deserves it. He's been playing fantastic. Fantastically, uh, hopefully his you know combination with Tiago Silva continues and he keeps learning from it. So guys, yeah, comment below if you've enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.